When it comes to discussing the differences between male and female dogs, it can be difficult to separate fact from fiction. In this video, we will explore some of the common differences and provide breed-specific examples to give a definitive classification of fact or fiction. Starting first with the facts. The size difference between male and female dogs can vary greatly depending on the breed. In general, male dogs tend to be larger and heavier than females, but this is not always the case. For example, female Great Danes can weigh up to 130 pounds while males can weigh up to 200 pounds. On the other hand, male Pomeranians can weigh as little as 3 pounds while females can weigh up to 7 pounds. It's important to note that size is not always an indicator of temperament or behavior. The nurturing and motherly behavior of female dogs can be seen in their interactions with their own puppies as well as other animals or humans in their care. They tend to be more patient and attentive to the needs of others. Male dogs, on the other hand, are often more protective of their territory and family. They may be more likely to bark at strangers or exhibit aggressive behavior towards other dogs. However, this is not always the case and can vary depending on the individual dog's personality and upbringing. Male dogs have a higher level of testosterone which stimulates the production of pheromones that they use to mark their territory. This behavior is not always related to dominance or aggression, but rather a natural instinct to claim a specific area as their own. Female dogs, on the other hand, are less likely to mark their territory and tend to be more discreet in their elimination habits. This can make them easier to potty train and can be an advantage for indoor dogs. For example, male beagles are known for their strong desire to mark their territory, while the females tend to be more reserved in this behavior. Male dogs, especially those that are not neutered, can exhibit more aggressive behavior towards other dogs. This is due to their natural instincts to assert dominance and protect their territory. Neutering can help to reduce this behavior, but it's not a guarantee. Female dogs are less likely to exhibit aggressive behavior towards other dogs, but can still become defensive if they feel threatened or if their puppies are in danger. For example, male pit bulls are often more aggressive towards other dogs than females, although this can vary depending on the individual dog. Certain health issues are more common in female dogs than in males, and vice versa. Female dogs are more prone to mammary tumors and pyometra infection of the uterus as they age. Spaying can greatly reduce the risk of these health issues. Male dogs, on the other hand, are more likely to develop testicular cancer and prostate problems. Neutering can reduce the risk of these issues as well as prevent unwanted litters. Female dogs tend to be more focused on their owners and eager to please. They may be more obedient and respond better to training cues. Male dogs, on the other hand, can be more independent and stubborn. They may be more easily distracted and require more consistent training. However, these traits can also be beneficial in certain situations, such as hunting or search and rescue work. Training should be tailored to each individual dog's personality and needs. Now let's do some myth busting and look at the common misconceptions. While male dogs may have a tendency to roam more in search of a mate, females in heat may also become restless and attempt to escape in search of a mate. It's important to ensure that all dogs are securely contained and monitored to prevent them from roaming and getting lost. For example, female beagles are known for their strong sense of smell and may be more likely to wander off in search of an interesting scent, while male Shitsus may be less prone to roaming due to their smaller size and lower energy levels. Loyalty is a complex behavior influenced by many factors such as breed, individual temperament, and socialization. 
it's important not to generalize and assume that all male dogs are more loyal than females. For example, female Akitarinus are known for their fierce loyalty and devotion to their family, while male greyhounds can be just as loyal and affectionate despite their reputation for being more independent. It's important to remember that loyalty is a trait that can be influenced by many factors and is not solely determined by gender. Activity levels can vary greatly within breeds and individual dogs and are not determined solely by gender. While some breeds may have a reputation for being more active than others, individual dogs can vary greatly in their energy levels, regardless of their gender. For example, female Australian Shepherds are known for their high energy levels and need for regular exercise, while male Bulldogs can be quite energetic despite their reputation for being more laid back. While males may be more territorial and protective due to their higher level of testosterone, protective behavior is influenced by many factors such as breed, individual temperament, and socialization. It's important not to generalize and assume that all male dogs are more protective than females. For example, female Doberman are known for their protective nature and can be just as effective as males in guarding their home and family. While male dogs are known to mark their territory with urine, female dogs may also mark for a variety of reasons such as anxiety or stress. Female dogs may also mark when they are in heat or when they are trying to establish their dominance. For example, female chihuahuas may mark their territory just as much as males, and female Dalmatians are known to mark when they are anxious or excited. In the end, we should remember that each dog is special in their own way, and by loving and taking care of their needs, we can make their and our lives enriched. Please like and subscribe to our channel to help us create more such content.